Welcome to Walk Before You Hunt NZ. Uh, Harry and I have made our way up into the hills. We had a spot planned, but we, uh, have, uh, the weather tomorrow wasn't looking so great. So we changed our plan around and ended up uh, coming here where currently it's beautiful. Uh, and it's supposed to stay reasonably good tomorrow. No, no real rain on the forecast, so uh, that'll be awesome. Harry's over there. Uh, ruining the target with um, some Ozcut single bevels, uh, just getting everything dialed in. He, uh, he upped his weight in his arrow, so it's just understanding where his pins lie now. He hasn't had a chance to get out to 60 to put a sight tape on. I, um, I upped the weight of my arrows as well and still haven't had a chance, to, I hadn't had a chance to have a shoot, so I've just had a quick shoot now. Pretty comfy with where I need to be. I know my 20, I know my 30, and I know my 40. I lost an arrow along the way, but let's not get too wrapped up about that. Yeah, so we're going to jam it up into the hills here. Uh, we've got a reasonable hike ahead of us. We're a little bit behind schedule. Uh, just the way the morning went, that's all right. We all have responsibilities, eh? Uh, looking forward to having you along for this one. This is really cool. I'm really excited to be here with Harry. Uh, this is the, uh, the culmination of a lot of uh, time and effort to get to this point for us, so... Uh, we're going to hit the ground running and feel like feel like it's going to be good. So, uh, positive vibes, you know. Like it's uh, it's cool. We've made a little journey here. So anyway, into the hills, get into it. Some of that uh, walk, walk glass going on. Go on, bro. Send it. I think, uh, I think I've got it dialed in for 30. Yeah. Yeah, mate. <laughs> I'd say you're good. <laughs> uh, so, as Bedaz and I have, uh, have made it to where we're going to walk in, just having a quick target shoot. Has is lined up on the 30, pretty sweet. Uh, he hasn't had an opportunity to fully dial in his sight tape, so we're just using pins um, on his U-butte, but he's spot hog sight. Oh, We've got a good for 20 and a good for 30. So uh, Give her a crack at 40 and... Three blade single bevel. Three blade single bevel. High FOC, got some real adult arrows going on there. 600 grains. Nice, nice, and, uh, and um, the, the homemade fletched Max hunting. <laughs> so that was, that was good. Uh, so the target's copped a hiding. <laughs> I, had a, I had a muzzy do a bit of planing. So I, was, I was nailing the target and that one just sailed up and off. So maybe I need to look at three degree helical on those. Need to cut the strops oh, off. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, yeah. So I'm, I'm one arrow down. That's inconsequential. I've got four others there. Slick tricks are flying beautifully on the one degree. So pretty happy. I yeah. think we're dialed in, ready to go. We'll see how these uh, the Oz cuts go. Yeah, mate. It is uh, perilously close to my face. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty close, wasn't it? So yeah, yeah. so um, we're about to hit it, get up the track. Looking forward to it. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome, bro. First outing together for a long time. Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely uh, been a time coming. Yeah, so let's get amongst it. Hell yeah. So um, oh, we made our way probably two and a half k, three k in. Yeah, getting there. It's actually been some pretty tough going. This uh, in places has been like a highway, <laughs> but then, then, but then on this hill, it has been uh, tough work. 
so. Uh, Bush terrain. Yeah, we're probably not quite as far in as I'd hoped to be at this point. Uh, but it's been pretty hard going. We are, however, seeing, uh, I think, shitloads. Off sign. Yeah, would be the appropriate term. Um, so there's definitely stuff about. Um, and they're trekking at first base and looked like it had been frequented by a lot of people. They, like there was a, there was a fairly well-worn path. Yeah. This no. path, however, is not very well worn. Although I'm sure, probably 10 metres off to our right or left, there's a state highway. <laughs> we're just not on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like we're on uh, the logical track. Just sit out a little bit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah. You get up to this bench up here and. Yeah, we're going to get up little, here. Little glass and. Yeah, get across to a bench and that'll look up a bit of a valley. Um, the winds in our favour for everything north of us so we can look into the sunny spots. Pretty good. Uh, I, I'm hesitant as to whether we'll make it right over to where I wanted to get. Yeah. It's, um, it's We've got high. terrain like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, yeah. Hey, we're seeing what's on. Yeah. And, you don't, um, you don't, like, you, you don't figure that, this shit out on the, uh, on the first trip, eh? Hey? No. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, that second trip's going to be a hell of a lot faster to get to this point. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, next weekend. <laughs> I, better, I better go see my daughter next weekend. Right. Not my that she... parents are coming to see me as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be a bit rude to. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably go see my daughter. It's her birthday next weekend. So. Yeah. Uh, not that she watches the YouTube channel yeah. anyway, so. We might. I can say whatever I want here. We might be taking her a, a stag head. Ooh. For a present. Yeah. I'm sure she'd appreciate that. She likes stuffed toys. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's it. That's where we're at. I'm, I'm, I'm going to flip you around. You can chuck yourself back in the shade for a while, mate. And, um, yeah, this is what we get to look at at the moment. Someone's in the background, wrapping it up. But the old did it, did it. Reading this motocross bike or a chainsaw? It's dialed. It's if it's a chainsaw, man, that person is moving fast. Because <laughs> he seems to be getting away from us at about 80 or 90 kilometres an hour. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Where are we, bro? We're at the top. Brutal Summited. Hill. Yeah, that's real. Real goat country, that stuff, eh? Some proper shingles going up there. Oof. Some big. She's big. Can you take me over that look? Go country. It's not a bad idea. You saw you're uh, at the top of the hill. It's been. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's been a real, real brutal walk, this one. Let's get up here. Just, I think from here, this will describe it. So, it just keeps going down. Ah. Yeah. So, new plan is, because boy, it soaked up some time getting up here, is we're gonna drop down the ridge. That's just gonna put us out of this wind. We could camp up here, there's a couple of spots, but it's, it's not sheltered. Cold. Yeah, it's not very sheltered. So we're gonna drop down. There's a bench that we can get to, and then we'll just uh, keep our eyes on this part of the valley. Yeah. Uh, but we've, we've landmarked the track here, so when we come back, we'll know where we're going. We can boost it. But yeah, this time it's just a case of uh, we'll hunt what we can see now, I think. Uh, we've got a couple of hours of sunlight left, so it'd be good to just get in place, have a feed, get camp set up. Drop the packs off. Yeah. Go for a little 
little wonder. I don't think there's that much pressure up here because I don't. There just isn't the sign anymore of people being up here. There's like a few footsteps. And there's some possum baits out. Well, 1080 perhaps, or some yeah. sort of pesticide. So I imagine a lot of that's from there. I'd say the hunters are probably, if they are coming into this area, probably right down the bottom of the valley. Because <clears throat> it's just not that well. It's not like signposted. It's not even really nah, that well the first, worn. The first K and a half, you're like, all right, this, people would come here. Everything after that is... Uh... As soon as it got hard going, eh? As soon as it got like properly hard going, like the tracks just died off, so... Yeah. Yeah, probably don't need to go that extra 8K I planned. <laughs> like a lunatic. So anyway, we're here. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a bit of a uh, panorama. And uh, yeah, we'll get out of this wind. Yeah, Hopefully this hasn't busy. been just a windy waste of time where all you can hear is the wind. <laughs> Harry, mate. some sign along the side of the hill, uh, fresh tracks, and we came in and we just found a trail through uh, through the bush. Uh, unfortunately, anything, anything there was, he would know we were here. But there's plenty of fresh sign around there. A uh, wicked valley over the back of us here, so it'll be cool to get out, on, uh, get out into the clear, drop down onto this bench that we're talking about, and I reckon, man, that area we were looking at before. Look at Fucking scratch that, bro. We'll just look at this one here because it's wicked country over here. Uh, no, he's here. Nah, nah, bro. Why? This is. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Super pumped. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm super pumped. I cannot recommend a funnier television show. Actually, the first three episodes is like. Uh, sort of super pumped and funny. But anyway, off topic. Um, yeah, no, so we're gonna, we, we actually need to get a rig along now. We've we dicked around just a little bit too much. Uh, enjoying the outdoors, right? It's important to enjoy what you're doing, like where you're doing it. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll crack on now. Get focused. Get down. That's probably the next mission. Uh, and we're just making as much noise we make now to just get there. Because where we're looking is, is a wee bit off and the wind's in our favour, so... Yeah, time to do that. So, uh, we've, we've set up camp here. There's Haz in the, um, in the penthouse. <laughs> and then the basement. Um, it took us a while to find some room, to be honest. Uh, finding a clearing out here was a little tougher uh, than we'd hoped. But yeah, so, man, it took us ages to get down off that hill too. Like, it was just as bad coming down as it was going up. Um, so, whew, not a bad walk, though. So yeah, food's hot. I'm gonna grab it, grab the bows, go find a spot, just glass. Probably just have a glass and see what we can see. 
I mean, uh, man, it will be nighty night all too soon. Look at our microwave dinners. <laughs> yep, got the old spag bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm running a honey soy chicken. Uh, that's pretty good too. It's pretty good. And we're about to uh, watch the best show on the telly. What's on tonight, Harry? Just uh, a light dusting of um, plenty of deer. <laughs> My favourite. <laughs> I would walk many a kilometres to watch that show. So, yeah. I said before, it's the walk walk glass show. <laughs> All right. What is it, bro? It's a fucking pig. <laughs> How far away is it, bro? Oh, no, fucking 10 meters. Maybe 20. All right. We're going to hold real quiet. I've got my fucking sticking knife on me. <laughs> and I'll give him the good news if he comes. So, what was that, bro? We just saw him out. Um, just setting up camp. Harry was in his tent, and I could hear this pig sniffing around coming our way down the other side of the bridge. Uh, so I was like, just quietly get out of your tent, mate, and come and have a listen. And we heard him work his way along. He would be five metres away from us. 100%. Then I, I sort of called it before, eh? I was like, hey, he's going to get to a point where he smells us, and then bail. Yeah. And then he was like, <laughs> and he says, ooh, 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 and then he's gone. And he took a look off through the bush. Uh, I, uh, we were at the point of, let's find a release aid and get an arrow. Uh, I had my knife ready. That was pretty cool, eh, bro? Yeah, there for that, a first, was, uh, that was pretty sweet. For a first, <laughs> first pig experience. First pig experience. Yeah, yeah, so we were just sitting here with the red lights on. That's fucking red light district around here. And, um, yeah, having a listen to that. That was pretty cool, bro. Yeah, that, that was that, pretty sweet. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's little interactions like that that make this choice, I reckon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was ready to give him the good news if he came around the corner. <laughs> With a stick and knife. Oh, yeah, he's going <laughs> to knock my tent over or something like that, I suppose. Well, Got him, man. He might have been smelling the food. It's maybe what he's after. Yeah, there's, there's a real obvious track on there just on the other side of the ridge, probably 15 metres away from us, where they've been running along, oh. so they obviously have a good look along there. But yeah, he got a good old whiff of a yeah. couple of salty sailors and and uh, he's off. yeah he was out of there but that was that was a bit of a laugh, bit of a laugh. Uh, so it's it's the Sunday morning now uh, Harry's just picking up packing up his tent uh, somewhere about 5 30 I think uh, the wind really kicked up last night pretty Pretty happy we found this this spot where we are. It's super sheltered in here because uh, the fallback plan was back on top of the ridge, uh, way up the top again, and um, man, we would have got blasted up there. So pretty happy to be down here and yeah, just starting to pack up now, chuck some food on, and then we're going to go check out these glassy spots. Hopefully this wind isn't going to uh, just keep everything bedded down. It'll be looking for those sheltered spots now. Um, but the sun should fall on the sheltered spots first. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll just have a good old glass in this spot today. Um, and then find an easier route in and out of here. Might be the go. And then lock that one in the bank. And, uh, yeah, see how we go from there. You there, bro? Yeah, bro. Can you see? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, so we're in a glassy spot now. It's pretty breezy, but we're just sheltered behind some trees. Yeah, just waiting for the sun to come up. Yeah. But on our way here, what do we spot? Oh, yeah, there's a wicked, wicked uh, tree, eh, that Stag's been rubbing up. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Epic sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really good sign. Still heaps of animal noises here. There was, um, it was actually a pretty funky sound last night, hey? I'd, yeah. I'd never heard that one before. 
Aye, aye. If it was pretty close, I reckon it could have been 30 metres away. Yeah, something like some sort of six foot tall goose. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a funky noise anyway. <clears throat> I just listened to that for a bit and then we went back to sleep. Yeah, not a bad sleep, but um, yeah, sun's about to come up. We're in our glassing spot, we're going to be able to look over quite a lot of country here uh, and then hopefully get over the other side of the ridge and check out that too. It's, um, yeah, I'm liking where we are right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. It's definitely a good spot. Yeah, so. All right, I want to flick it around and see if we can film the spot. So we just made our way up through here. And what we're seeing, uh, this is like a, just a big bedding area here. It's hard to get far enough away. So it continues on through there. There's some sign here from within the last week. So we're just gonna keep um, pushing on. I wanna try and get through this to look up into that valley because that sun's just about to poke over the hill. We've had a good glass over the side here. We would have seen and they took a photo of them. Couldn't see much there. And we've had a bit of a, a look at the way we're going to get out. But yeah, now I just want to try and get on the other side here. Get a bit more of the sun's just about to poke over the hills. It's pretty chilly though. Just keep on moving. Harry, I reckon we'll try through here. second glassing spot uh, which is another another valley essentially uh, hopefully see something in here uh, it's a bit more sheltered down in here so hopefully they're out and about a bit more um, it's pretty windy on the other side so but yeah yeah it's um Pretty adventurous walking to be fair through here. We uh been making a way, I think I found the trail that pig was running last night. <sighs> but yeah. Here we go. Get behind the glass stick again, have a look, see what you can't find. So that's uh that's us done. We're we're out. Um, we got out much faster than much faster than, than it took us to get in. A swifty descent. Yeah, yeah. I did a fair amount of um, scree sliding, I suppose you'd call it, getting down. Yeah. Chuck the big um, the big bulldozer blades in the ground, and and I was sort of on four, all fours. An effective way to get down the hill. Hey, it was efficient. <laughs> <laughs> and that hill was like looking like it was 45 degrees for sure. Oh yeah, 100%. I took some photos of it on the phone. It's just what a gnarly hill. But um, but we also found another track. Eh? Yeah. Like we linked up on the first track we found, and then found another track out. Uh, so, so yeah, definitely uh, found a better route. So, which is awesome. Fun. And seen sign, almost like from the first hill over. Eh? Yeah. Right. Like, Fresh. Yeah. So, like, Sign. So there's plenty up there. It's just uh, getting to the right place. And I think uh, one of the things we did was 
Um, we probably camped a little bit too far in. Yeah, probably right where they were. Yeah. And we might have spooked them off as we were getting there. So, potentially. But, um, but yeah, it's been a super cool trip. We're really happy to have my man here with me. Like, yeah, hell yeah. Um, man, it's been an expedition. It's been a slow old grind. Yeah, you burned up all your food, mate. Oh, all your water. Yeah. Can't wait to get some more food every now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're off to find a feed down the local, uh, down the township now. So there's been talk of pizzas and ice cream. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. It's, um, yeah, cheers, guys. We really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah it's it's awesome to have uh, to record this and have people uh, commenting and and interacting with us. Uh, yeah, I had a message from a dude the other day. We had a bit of a yarn. That was pretty cool. Bow hunter from up north. Uh, so yeah, that's um, that's choice. It's choice to have that interaction with everyone. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think we'll be back to the spot again. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please. Yeah. Uh, that stuff is really important on YouTube. It, it makes a big difference for new people seeing it, and we're. We're starting to see that now with everyone's input, so really uh, super grateful for everything that uh, everyone's doing in that regard. Follow us on um, Instagram and uh, Spotify. Yeah, Walk Before You Hunt NZ on Instagram and Spotify. I think we've probably <laughs> banged out at least one podcast on this trip, so there's yeah, some... I know, be a juicy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the unabridged version of what's actually going on in here, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm just thinking about some of the shit I've been talking. Uh, yeah, so it's been really cool. Uh, yeah. Hope to see you next time. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. Last thing, too, bro. Thanks for coming out, bro. No worries, That's mate. awesome. Cool. Adios. <laughs> Go and do your, do your famous... Super pumped! <laughs> <laughs>